these matters that we're trying to address. All right, all right, my hands are down. All right, I heard you already. My hands are down. What the fuck are you doing? All right, I said my hands are down. My hands are down. That's what I heard he said before the metal darts pour into him, before all that current tore in through him. 50,000 volts, not once, but twice, causing a schism in his neural and cardiac system. Let's do the division. 100,000 by 20 years of a young black man's life. There would be 5,000 units for each year of hate he had to live with the stress and strife of being a young African in a society full of banality and police brutality, a society of racial profiling, subtly smiling, thinking in its collective head, oh well, just another nigga dead. Cops copped a life of color. A cat got cat by even cops of color who copped out and got co-opted into corrupt conformity that consigns our kind to some crazy contumely, creating a contempt that ramps up amps to stamp out our community and watch the swat our attempt to live humanly. Yeah, yeah, I know the damn goose made him kind of loose, but that was no justification for an electronic noose. They made it seem like he was in a threatening position, but that's another damn law enforcement fiction because eyewitnesses made statements to the contrary. But what I witness too often from the constabulary is a lack of emotional fitness to be carrying weaponry and a dangerous disposition to be the adversary. And so he was tasered. You know, that electronic control device that's gotten out of control and is now the vice of choice for many an out of control control freak. That non-lethal weapon, which has been surprisingly lethal for the more than 300 people whose lives it's leaked. I already had a negative view about it. I never thought this close to home the news would hit. Check my phone. Five times my sister had called? Oh shit, something's wrong, y'all. Found out later. Too shocked to ball, too stunned to cry. The guy who loved to run ball, whose smile was still so childlike on a man child's body tall, was shocked and stunned to death, shrouded under hatred's pall. The first baby boy of my sister. How I wish I could be with her, how more than ever I missed her. I could only imagine her screams as her young mister wished to create a gift in her, was ripped from her, creating a rift in her. God, please uplift in her the strength to go on. Took him to a game once. <laughs> Woohoo! Thank God for that one time, which he enjoyed and appreciated. Let me know I wasn't hated, even though my calls and cards were belated. And though I rarely was around, he never berated. Now, this is no excuse for it. It's, it's nothing that makes it right. But admittedly, for a time, his mother and I weren't running tight. No, nah, no. Nah. Not like there was a fight. Nothing deranged. Just a brother and a sister is strange. Though that was beginning to change. But for the longest time, it was for no other reason than that we hadn't sat down to talk. Now we were in a season of tragedy, which brought us into a closer walk. Now, respect to my sister, because she always invited, always pleaded with me to come get him and be that uncle I was supposed to be. Spend time with him, be a man with him, encourage and if need be, reprimand him, help him focus, teach him, give him some locus where he could reach in and center himself and execute his plans. Now he's been executed by trigger happy hands. Weird, isn't it? Spend a career working with other people's kids while your relationship with some of your own hits the skids made slippery with good intentions. So with all that having been mentioned, can't make the same mistakes of absence with the next two. Got to honor Rail's memory and to them be true. Oh, internal investigations, of course, found no wrongdoing and thus no punitive action was ensuing. Obviously, they weren't really, look, really looking. Too much a part of the system to make the correct booking. The not so grand jury made no convictions. The oppressors hope that we lack conviction and will wither in this war of attrition. They act as if we owe them contrition. But no, no. There will be no acquiescence to the slaver's electronic whip. No letting the memory of Jarrell and others slip. No voltage that will leave our minds so dazed, our souls so tased that we accept this shit is just an unfortunate phase and do nothing but turn the page or turn aside from the, our justified rage. No, we won't let ourselves be consumed by hate, but we don't appreciate the continued rate at which our killers get to skate. Too many folk have been charged and their murderers not charged. Too many folk have been charged while in the authorities charged and left twisted in some dying position while those in charge get to hide behind their badges and positions. So I'll charge us with the mission of unplugging the injustice which kills our brothers and sisters, which kills our children. Shocking, but true. So let's do what we gotta do. 
Speak love to our young ones while we have the opportunity. Speak truth to power to end police impunity. We cannot and will not accept this current reoccurrence of hate. The survival of our families is at issue. Indeed, the survival of our community. And Yorel, I miss you. Poem for Jarrell.